Hello everybody and welcome to a very special test recording from VG Toolbox. I'm I'm playing with uh, Tinker's Construct. I'm going to show you a little bit about it. Right, here's my little world. Uh, you'll notice in my hand I've got some, some weird things. These are from Biomes of Plenty, mostly. I've also got the other one. <laughs> Extra Biomes XL installed. So there's some interesting things in the world. I, I, I can't quite figure out what is from Tinker's Construct and what's from Biomes of Plenty. Like these little berry bushes here. If I place them down, I'm not even sure how they work. Uh, no. I mined these from underground. And I kind of thought I'd be able to place them down again. Next stone. No, maybe they need to be at a certain depth. I'll have to look that up. But they're pretty good. When you find them underground, right click on them, you harvest the berries from them, and you get. I'll show you. you. Get these little seeds. Or berries. Yeah, that's it. And uh, when you smelt those, you get a nugget, which is where these nuggets are from. Empty. This is another thing you get gravel ore. That just smelts into an ingot as you would expect. Uh, but you find them on the surface, which is interesting. Including um including gold gravel on the surface. It's a bit weird. I think you need an iron shovel to pick those up. But uh right here is the main well, I suppose the crux of Tinker's construct, the smeltery. And what this is, is you put various metals in here. Put some lava in, the metals melt, mix, and you pour them out into this, uh, oops, <laughs> into this little chap here. So let me give you an example. Uh, let's say I wanted to make some bronze. Bronze is made from three copper and a tin. <laughs> You'll probably remember that from various other mods, uh, including, let's think, what's that one that does that? stuff. It's uh, industrial craft, isn't it? To make a wrench, to make bronze. So it's the same recipe here. Uh, and I do need some lava. So I do need to get some lava. I'm right next to a volcano biome, <laughs> by the looks, which is a bit weird when the sky starts volcano. But, okay. <laughs> Bits. Never mind. So I need to get some lava. There's plenty of it about. Wow. These trees in the distance, they're very pretty. It's very weird creepers. This volcano biome. I can smell it though. Um, oh, if I had my suit. What's it called? Power suit. Just glide across to my cave system. So I'll have to go and have a wander. It's fine. Bloop! Squiddy! I'll show you. <laughs> Look at that sky change. It's a bit abrupt, isn't it? Um, oh, for some reason I seem to be able to fall four blocks without taking any damage. I'm not sure what that is. Because this is Minecraft 1.5. So I'm not entirely sure whether that's a new 1.5 thing or if. Um... I've just wondered if push to talk is on and you won't get any of my voice at all. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea actually thinking about that. Um, oh, right. Lava, 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 lava. This is clear. Good. Boop. Let's just get off. Oh, look. Ah, now here are some. Oh, let's get away from the lava first of all. La, la. Uh, here's some tools. <laughs> you can name things as you make them. This is my sharpie, my iron pick. This is a, a slime pick. Uh, it's made from, uh, like the green slimes, there are blue slimes. They behave slightly differently and they spawn on the surface and all that. But uh, you get blue slime balls which you can craft slightly vicariously into blue slime crystals which are slower than a stone pick, but they have 
much, much more durability. So I quite like having that down in the mine, uh, at least at this point, relatively early in the Minecraft playthrough here. I'd rather travel less back and forth than, um, you know, save a bit of time mining, to be honest. <coughs> and uh, this is a bronze pick. Got another little bronze pickaxe head here. See? Just comparative colour. So, get lava in here. Bloop! Oh, look at that. Anyway, let's put some copper in, and the tin, and you see these little bars on the side mean that these ores are now heating up, and you can put ingots in, but if you put ores in, you get twice as much, so like, um, like industrial craft and thermal expansion and factorization, this is a way of multiplying the output of ores, but it only does it, well in fact, no, no, you can't. Uh, well, I'll, I'll explain that bit in a bit. So here we see the tin has melted faster. Tin melts faster than th three copper. And these aren't real, by the way. You know, despite the fact this is molten liquid, I can just walk around in here quite happily. Well, they're nearly melted, so they'll disappear, and this will change colour from tin. A nice bronzy colour. Oh, oh. Hey, bronze. Liquid bronze. I'm just splashing around it. So this is the tap, this is a drain block, this is a, a kind of multi-block structure, uh, various different types of thing, like a, a lava pool. And uh, this is a drain and a faucet on the side, and this is the table where you put uh, the things. <laughs> so let me show you. No, I'll have to show you my main base. I'm just playing, oh, oh brr, I'll have to show you. Main base. Uh, not focusing on construction or anything here. I do need to build a bridge across here, though. It's a little bit inconvenient. Yeah, the carpenters did a bad job. Don't mind that. Uh, blank patterns and one. There we go. Right. Yes, this is what I want. I'll take this with me. Uh, oh. Hey. Any space for this? Yeah. One as well. These are the different tools you use in Tinker's Construct. Various different tables. Uh, I don't need that one. That's for. This is how you make stencils. So these here are stencils, and you make them from these blank patterns. And the first ones you make are wood. Wood patterns. But once you start smelting metals, such as bronze, you'll need to use these uh, metal patterns, which are made from aluminium. Bronze. Aluminium bronze. Yes. It's made from copper and aluminium. I think. Three aluminium and a copper. I think. I think that's right. It <laughs> doesn't matter all that much. Uh, but what I want to do is turn that brass, or bronze, or I can't even remember to be honest. Let's look at this book. Materials in you. Get these little books to carry around with you. La 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 la. Paper, cobalt, iodine, copper, bronze. Bronze, so yeah, bronze is what I've just made. Right, you have to press escape, you can't just press the inventory button. It's a little bit more. Oh, and it's going night time, perfect. Um, need some more casts. No, I don't, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. So I'm going to make a, bro a, bron a bronze, brass, well, I'm going to make a sword anyway. So what I do is I place these casts down. Just clear my inventory a little bit. Alternatively, I don't need to pick these. La la la. Yeah. Oh, very easy. Oh, isn't that pretty? So I place a cast in there. Right click the faucet. Right click the faucet. There we go. Liquid in there, dries, 
get out, take the cast out as well, put the next cast in. Hand guard, lovely. And the sword blade cast. There. That dry. There we go. Ah. Ah, there's still some liquid in there, you can see. Uh, oh, it doesn't actually show up. Bit weird. This doesn't have the pop ups. Because I believe all these liquids are registered with Forge. Um, but the actual interface doesn't tell you how many millibuttons of everything you've got. So it's a little bit. So let's place these tables down. Uh, all right, all right. So here's the tool station. I want to make a sword, broadsword. There's different types of swords. You can get uh, long swords and rapier, is that? Yeah, and little daggers as well. Let's check it out, mate. Got torches. Doing very well, am I? So let's make broadsword. Put the sword in, put the handle in, put the bronze rod in, there we go. Bronze sword, oh, I've already made one. Oh, I forgot about that. Let's make another, let's give it a name. Let's give it, um, Bunt Sword, because nobody's ever going to see this recording, and I can't be bothered. <laughs> so, ah, uh, now let's get the pattern chest out, because if you put this pattern chest next to here, uh, things you put in the pan chest, these patterns appropriately. You can't put blank patterns, you have to put actual patterns in. Heh will appear there, I heard a noise, I heard a noise. Uh, 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 you're in a bed. In case you're wondering, this is a uh, custom uh, installation of Minecraft I've put together. This isn't Feed the Beast. This is 1.5, and then I installed Forge. Dear. It's fine, it's fine. And then I installed Tinker's Construct, Biomes Plenty, Extra Biomes XL, and uh, something else installed up here as well. Oh, Mine Painter! Uh, I do a little look at that at some point. Uh, seared bricks, this is what we've made that smeltery out of. Uh, so I've got my bunt sword. I wonder actually, if I could give it a little bit bit of strength. Let's have a look. I get these books, like materials it's called. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Reading it in midair. La la la! So, broadsword. Here we go. Broadsword is a defensive weapon made with a sword blade, a tool rod, and a wide guard. Uh, it's a melee weapon, effective on webs, blocking cuts a wide variety of damage types in half. Now, because I've made it out of bronze, there's bronze. There it is. Right, so we have the durability of 350, which is higher than iron. Find iron 250, so it's higher. You also get the handle modifier. So if I made the handle out of wood, like you would ordinarily craft a sword in a normal crafting table, that wouldn't multiply the durability in any way. See, 59 times 1.0 is 59. But if I gave it an iron rod, an iron handle, I would get the 1.3 multiplier. And that has. That's, not, that's the same for bronze. This one's 0.3. Might as well just use iron. I, I, I don't know what the trade off of that in terms of scarcity of the respective materials is. But anyway, I've got. A sword that has 350 durability times 1.3, and I, I, oh, I do have a calculator handy. Let's let's work that out live mathematics, live automated mathematics for you here. Got this calculator dusty. Get it down. Let's start. Blah, 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 blah. 350 multiplied by 1.3. I could do it in my head, but I can't be bothered. 455. I can strike something 455 times with the sword. 
and uh, oh, it actually, it actually calculates it for me. It's a little bit off though. Well done. <laughs> well done. Uh, and reinforced level one. So what I can do as well in the tool station is add new materials. So if I were to add this moss, well, I have some moss. Scrape it off walls, or you can craft it with various bits. If I can add that to the sword, it will slowly repair itself. So let's. Why's that creep gone? Let's get this durability down slightly. Oh. Um. Uh, let's see if I can find anything else to take out. In fact, you know, let's just make this easy. Oh, I literally cannot break stuff with this. It's a bit weird. <laughs> That's quite weird, I didn't know that. <laughs> nice. So, uh, well that doesn't help us at all. Anyway, you can see it's taken at least a slight amount of damage. What I'm going to do is just head on up back to the tool station and apply that moss modifier. Um, job. Apply that moss modifier, and I, I've got cheats on this one for the purposes of the video just to show you how to do that if it doesn't work straight away. So I've got tool. Oh, I didn't use the bunt sword. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Moss, can I add the moss? I can't add the moss, even if I give it a name, because it's already got... Uh, it's already got this inherent reinforced ability, bronze. And items can only hold one uh, modifier at a time. So it's got reinforced modifier, which if we find here, reinforced, um, resilient, I think it might be if you add a diamond, it could be reinforced, or emerald, emerald sharp, it's fine, I'll take silver, electric. Right. So, Additional modifiers. If I have a diamond and a gold block, what I can do is give the tool the ability to be upgraded with additional modifiers. Let's just game mode to creative briefly for the purposes of showing you. And ah, biomes are plenty. Ah, yes. I see. So, yes. Yes. Amethyst, mud, what? Um. <laughs> ah, yeah. So these bushes are, in fact, yes. These are. Christ. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I haven't gone into creative mode yet. This was this was a legitimate playthrough until. So um. What we'll do is just get a bronze broadsword spawned in because what I am going to be doing is cheating with this one just for the purposes of showing you so I'll I'll delete that one and just use the one I already had um, if I get a block of gold and a nice big chunk of diamond yeah take it to the tool station I can now edit this sword with a bit of gold and a diamond Add modifier. Uh, not quite sure. Durability. It's taking two durabilities. Wait, I thought. Surely it had 455 durability. Now it's 420. I don't understand. Anyway, modifiers remaining. Bleep. Now, I should be able to add some moss. I can't. Ha <laughs> Um. There's probably a very good reason for that. Some abilities can't stack. Moss, 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 moss. Sunlight speed process. Single use stackable. Um, 
Maybe it just doesn't work with swords. Hmm. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. What other abilities can I try on it? Active spell. A lava crystal. Fire sets enemies on fire. So let's let's try that instead. Let's try. Oh, what's the difference between misc and materials? Where's the blaze? Decoration building. Redstone. Food. Two. Brew. Brewing. In fact, if you open there a button, you can... Oh no, that's 1.6. Anyway! That's the sword I was using. There it is. Right, so now I can add the fiery aspect. That will give it a blaze, I think. Add several. So let's actually get some more in. Get out just for the purpose of demonstration. Huh. Blaze 1. to and my remaining modifiers isn't going down because this is all these blazes are stacking I think every four blazes you add this is a little bit it's a little bit easier shift clicking I think every four blazes you add adds an extra second of, uh being on fire to the enemy so what are we up to now 16 that's fine just get rid of these because I'm trying to play a little bit. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I am trying to play legitimately and for God's sake, Sky Stop. So, that's, there's a bat. A bat. Yeah. It'll die instantly, but we'll be able to see if it catches on fire. There we go, it caught on fire. So, obviously, because it's a great big massive sword, um, it's going to die instantly. But if it didn't, if it were something larger like a zombie or a skeleton or a creeper, it would continue to take damage over time. Let's go back into the mines and see if I can find... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Something to test this on. I have lit the caves up huh! so much, <laughs> so much that I can't find an enemy. Um, it's annoying, isn't it? I'm still on creative mode, so I won't lose anything here. Here we go, go away, go off, and go. This is copper. No, actually, that's uh, that's tin. Tin is a very coppery colour in this. Stop. Must be something there. That's just my throat. That's my slime. Uh. Yeah. Ah! Ha ha ha! Look at that giant burning flame! <laughs> oh, it didn't last long, did it? That was about five seconds. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, getting some free XP here. I hope you will forgive me on this private playthrough. What? I have no idea! <laughs> what? Uh, ah, oh, I've already been here. Here's some aluminium. Coal you hopefully recognise. Let's return home. In fact, let's, let's not bother. That's the point. I'll just show you some of the other things you can do here. Uh, I haven't been to the nether on this little playthrough yet, but, as you can see, there are materials that are only harvestable in the nether. These include cobalt, one of the nether materials, and ardite, which are uh, a lot stronger. So you can only mine cobalt if you've got some ardite or cobalt. But, you know, <laughs> neat. Uh, 
cobalt to get cobalt, so we need some ardite first, presumably. So mine's some ardite, and I'm not entirely sure. Okay, thanks, Charlie. I'm not entirely sure what level. I think cobalt. I think you need level three. That would make sense. I think you need uh, obsidian. Oh, shut up. I think you need a level three. It's fine in this video. Let me see. I think you need level three. An obsidian or a diamond tool. Oh, did that diamond show up here? A bit weird. Diamond. I know this level three. Oh, no, that's not entirely sure, to be honest. But once you've got. Steel. I don't know what the recipe for steel is. There is a recipe. Don't know what it is. Once you go to the nether, there'll be even more materials, including eventually be able to make this alloy out of nether materials, and it's stronger than diamond. Oh yeah, look how much durability it's got. Two point five multiplier. The tool, the ha the handle on this is going to be handy on any tool. It's going to really bump up more than double the durability of any tool you apply that handle to. That's very fast as well. I've tried it. Yeah, I haven't got there on this playthrough. I hope to. Um, if I can never find my way back. Um. um Literally going in circles. <laughs> oh dear. Ah. <laughs> I made this last time I got lost. <laughs> so this is Bunce having is playing. Hello, words. This is Bunce playing Tinker's Construct. Doing a little test video just to see if first of all I can at a decent quality, and also see uh, that I can edit in a decent way, because I've never done any editing before. Uh, hopefully Liam will approve what I have to show him. Where the hell is my base? Hello? <laughs> uh, oh dear. Ah, yes, I recognise that lava flow. <laughs> Wonderful. So that's it for now, folks. Mainly Liam. Anyone else I show this to? Okay. Bye!